As I mentioned in the past couple of training videos beginning with turning on the file sharing, when it comes to sharing your files and folders on the network it's a two-step process, not necessarily in any order. One step is to simply right click on the file or folder that you want to share and either go to share with over and down to specific people or coming down here and clicking on properties. Going to the sharing tab and clicking the share button, both of them will take you to the same screen or doing some advanced sharing. In any case, that's one step. The second step is to make sure that you turn the file sharing on on your computer. So the network can say, oh, I need to look at this computer to see if he has any files or folders that he's currently sharing. So I can open that up and allow others on the network to be able to have access to that file or folder. And to be able to turn on that file and printer sharing, along with other advanced share settings, you want to come down here and click on the Start button, go up to the Control Panel, and then click on View Network Status and Tasks. Because over here in the Task pane, you want to click on Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Now as you recall, you have three different types of networks. If I click the back button and click on home network, remember you have home network, work network, and public. And the advantages of setting it up under the home network is that you get to use the home group feature which is new in Windows 7, which you want to watch that training video. In any case, mine's set up under the home, home network. So again, come over here and click on change advanced sharing settings. And there's the home or work, which is one profile it sees it as the same and that's my current profile. If you come over here and click the arrow it collapses it and the other profile is public and that's not my current profile but if it did say current profile then I want to go ahead and expand that and make the settings or adjust the settings accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse it and go back under my current profile so up at the top it has home or work current profile and the settings in the public or home and work file are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through these really quick and basically the settings in both of them, almost all of them are the same except for one. In any case, I'll go through both the home or work and then the public. First of all, the home or work. The first option is to turn on network discovery. You want to make sure you have that turned on if you want to be able to have access to other computers that are sharing folders on the network. And it explains it right here. Other people can see you on the network and by the same token you can see other computer and devices. If you turn it off, Nobody else can see you on the network and you can't see anybody else. So in essence you won't have access to be able to get to their shared folders. But there's one caveat to this, or one exception. You can still share printers on the network without being detected. So if I go ahead and turn this off, but I turn on file and printer sharing, I can still share my printers that are connected to this computer without being detected. Other than that, if you want to have access to other people's shared folders and, and they have access to yours, go ahead and be sure you turn on network discovery. And then next, as we were just talking about, file and printer sharing. If you want to share files and printers, go ahead and turn it on. Of course, as you recall when it comes to sharing files and folders, that you actually have to change the properties of the folder or file to be shared with. This action right here just flips the switch so it's shareable. And the network can detect and say, okay, this computer is open for sharing. Now what specifically files or folders is being shared? Now keep in mind that if you turn this on and you don't want to share your printer or you're trying to share your printer and it's not being shared, go ahead and come down here and click on the start button, go to your control panel, come up here and click on view devices and printers, and then right click on your printer here and go down to printer properties, go to the sharing tab, and then you can see right here these boxes are checked, meaning that this printer is being shared as HP LaserJet. And go ahead and click on change the sharing options and then uncheck those so it's no longer being shared and then click OK. I'm going to click cancel and close out. And as I mentioned in the turn on public folder sharing option here, that if you turn it on, it means that everybody, even those on the network, have access and can make changes or read or write to the public folders. And where are the public folders? Well, if you click on the start button, go to the computer, go to the C drive, double click, and then go to the users. So you can see all the users that are set up on this computer, training, Kershaw, and Dreamforce. Well, there's public. Double click on that. Here are the public folders that you're sharing. So anybody can have access to these public folders, either from across the network if you turn on public folder sharing, in which case they can come in here. and So they can go ahead and add music to the folder or delete music from it. Or you can turn it off and only those people that are logged on to this computer can access those public folders. And you saw that I have three different accounts in this computer, Kershaw, Training, and Dreamforce. So go ahead and choose your option there. 
Now media streaming, if you want to go ahead and turn it on, it means you can have access to other people's music. Well, specifically, if you put music in the uh, public folder, the music folder, you can actually have access to that through the network and play the music that they have on their computer, again, through the public folders. So go ahead and click on Choose Media Streaming Options, and I have mine turned on. And you can see on my local network here, we have Jason's laptop, and then we have Dreamforce 4, which is another computer. I can click on the drop-down arrow and say All Networks. So if there's additional networks or devices connected to these networks, you can see that all of them are allowed to have access to the music that I place in my public music folder on my computer. Of course, I can go ahead and say block all, blocks them all, click OK, and, well, if I need to make changes to that, go ahead and click on Choose Media Streaming Options. It basically turned it off, so you have to turn it on again so everybody has access, at least on your local network. If you want to come over here, you can click on the drop-down arrow and individually block people from sharing music on your computer in the public folder. Go ahead and click OK here. Let me scroll back down. Now when I say that you have music in the public folders, when it comes to uh, turning on the media streaming option, it means that you can open up the Windows Media Player that's pinned down here on your taskbar and be able to have access through the Windows Media Player to the music that's in the public folder on the other person's computer. That is, if they allowed you to have access to it. So I went to Jason's computer, and I turned it on. So if I want to be able to have access to the music that's in his public folder, sure, I can go to the public folder through the network, or just open up the Windows Media Player down here at the bottom. Come over here in the library. You can see that we've got two computers, one computer, and there's Jason's laptop. If I go ahead and turn down the arrow here and click on Music, it's going to show all the music that's in the public folder on his computer that he's sharing or set the option to allow sharing to everybody across the network. And this is the default music that comes with Windows 7. But I want to show you something. If I go ahead and have him take a song that he has on his computer and I have him drag and drop that into his public music folder, give it a second or two here, and it updates. And it's called Hopes and Fears is the name of the album by Keen everybody's changing. Pretty cool. So now I have access to it. All I have to do is to play it is just double click on it and you can see it's starting to play down at the bottom here. I'll go ahead and click stop. Let me go ahead and close out of here. So what he did is he went to choose media streaming options like we just did. He allowed me, Dreamforce, he chose the allowed option to have access to the music in his public folder in the public music folder on his computer and then what he did, let me go ahead and close out, is he took some music on his desktop or let's say my exercises folder, double click and open that up. Let's say I want him to have access to Birdhouse in Your Soul. So I'll go ahead and drag that over here. And I can either go over here and double click and open up the computer and drill down, or why do that? When over here in the navigation pane, I can just turn down the computer to go to the C drive, to go to the users, and there's the public folder, turn that down, and there's the public music. If I just go ahead and click and drag that into the public music and let go, he'll have access to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and not do that. But in any case, he'll be able to open up his Windows Media Player on his computer and over in the library down in the lower left-hand corner, be able to expand the name of my computer, click on music, and be able to have access to that song, Birdhouse in Your Soul, and play it. Okay, let's go ahead and cover the rest of the options there. I'm going to go close out of the folder. And to get back to my advanced share settings, I can open up any folder here. Here's a shortcut. Just go down and click on the network folder, because up here on the command bar you have network and sharing. Click on that and it takes me right to it. Of course, what's shorter, let me close out, is that you can right-click on the network icon, go to properties, double-click on the header bar to maximize the screen, come over here and click on change advanced sharing settings and we'll scroll down here. So we covered media streaming. The next option is file sharing connections, and it explains that Windows 7 uses 128-bit encryption to help protect file sharing connections. Some devices, however, don't support the high encryption and must use something less. Do you want to go ahead and use high encryptions so it's less likely for somebody when they try to hack your network will be able to pick up and see what's going on, or go ahead and lower the bit encryption so it's not as secure? Well, of course, I'd pick the 128, but then again, if some of the devices on the network don't function unless it's at a lower encryption, 
then go ahead and change it to the lower encryption 40 through 56 bit. Next is the password protected sharing and you can see that I have it turned off. In other words, if I want to be able to share files and folders on my computer with everybody else on the network, I have to turn off password protected sharing. Because if I turn it on, in order for them to gain access to my shared files and folders, they have to know the uh, username and password on my computer. Which, I mean, if I give it to them, that makes no sense because now not only do I have access to it when I sit at my computer, but everybody else does because they have my username and password and they can access it from across the network. Now again, because I have it turned off, that doesn't mean they have access to my entire computer because all the previous training videos when it comes to sharing across the network, this has been turned off the whole time. And as you recall, when I go ahead and specify a folder or a file, that's the only folder or file that other users on the network have access to. So if I go ahead and I turn it on, in fact, let me go to Jason's computer and have him turn it on, because right now, let me come down here and open up Windows Explorer. Of course, it takes me to the libraries, but that's besides the point. I want to come over here in the navigation pane, click on the network folder. And there's Jason's laptop. So again, when I double click on that, if I go ahead and I double click on his folder, remember that has the picture of his puppy, it allows me to go right in it, okay? But if I go ahead and go over to his computer and change his password protected sharing from the password being off to turn it on, then when I want to access his computer, I have to have his own username and password. Yeah, he has to give me his password. So let me show you what that looks like. Let me go ahead and click on it to see if it'll, well, it still allows me to have access to it. So it may take a refresh or just closing out and trying to enter back into Jason's laptop. Let me come down here and click on the start button, go to computer. And then down here, click on Jason's laptop and I don't get access, but that may be a temporary thing. When I shut down and restart the computer here because of all the changes I made, next time when I go ahead, let me click OK, and click on Jason's laptop, it may ask for a username and password. Otherwise, I'm being blocked, so I have to go back to Jason and tell him, of course in his advanced sharing settings, to go ahead and turn off password protected sharing. And, and I turned mine on. When he tries to access my computer, he has to have a password in order to access this because I wanted to test this to make sure that there wasn't something screwy going on with the network as you just saw here. It gave me that error, but it should prompt me for a username and password, so in any case. And then finally, home group connections, which is only available in the home or work, not available in the public as I'll show you in just a minute when we go to public. You only want to set this to allow Windows to manage the home group connections only if you're running all computers on your network with Windows 7. If not, then to have access across the network to previous operating systems like Windows Vista or Windows XP, then you want to go ahead and choose Use User Accounts and Passwords to Connect to Other Computers. Otherwise, what you're doing here is you're just making an elitist club that only allows other Windows 7 users to have access along the network here when it comes to home group connections. And then let me go ahead and scroll up and collapse the home or work current profile and expand public. Basically it's the same. If you scroll down to the bottom, the only thing that you're missing is the home group connections because home group is not available for networks that have been set up under the work network or the public network. So starting up at the top, the best I can do is give you recommendations since we already covered all of these. Is do you want to be discovered on the network? Well, if it's a public network, that's really up to you. My recommendation is to turn it off. I mean, if you're at the airport and you don't want to be discovered on a public network, go ahead and turn it off. That way nobody can see you and you can't see them. Privacy is nice. I'd probably turn off file and printer sharing. I don't want to share that with the public. Unless, of course, you have one of those public networks that you want people to come into your little cafe shop and be able to have access to the network and be able to print off things while they're enjoying a cup of hot chocolate or something. And then, of course, for your public folder sharing, by turning it off, it just means that people who are logged on to this computer have access to it, not anybody else on the network. Again, I don't want to go really public with my public folders, just, again, only those who have access to this computer directly and not through a network. And then media streaming. Now, what's interesting about this is that if you come in here and you click on Choose Media Streaming Options, well, when you allow it, or if you allow it under your home or work, and you come in here to public, if you turn it off here, it's going to turn it off in the home or work network. So you don't want to mess with that. 
turn it on in one, it turns it on in the other, and vice versa if you turn it off. So I'm going to go ahead and click back, and well, look at that. It took me back to my current profile, so let me go ahead and collapse that and expand the public here so we can continue on. So choose media streaming options. Again, if you change it in the public profile, it changes it and updates it in the home or work network profile. So just stay in your profile and you should be fine. If it's public, make the changes in public. If it's home or work, make those changes there. In any case, the next step is file sharing connections as we just discussed. It's the same here in the public profile as is in the home or work profile. And then password protecting, same thing. And my recommendations for both is to always use the highest encryption especially in a public setting. And then for password protected sharing, well, I'd go ahead and turn mine on that a password is required and only those people on this computer have access to anything that I share on this computer and not across the network. So thereby turning it off, I don't want others on the network to have access to anything I share on this computer. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. And then of course, be sure to save your changes and that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.